Today, we're going to build a Telegram AI news bot using the new GPT-40. This bot understands several commands. Start, which triggers a welcome message. Help, which provides a list of all commands. And news, which gives you the latest AI updates. This video is not only to show you how to create a Telegram bot, but also to demonstrate how easy it is to build almost anything with ChatGPT. Let's start with the following prompt. I want to create a Telegram bot in Python. I don't have any ideas about what this bot should do, and I don't have any programming experience. Therefore, I want you to create a detailed action plan, indicating each step I need to take from choosing an idea for the bot to launching the bot itself. But for now, don't explain each step in detail, just write the structure of actions I need to take. And now I have received a detailed action plan consisting of eight steps. As you can see, each of these steps is quite briefly described. And without any prior experience, it will be difficult to understand what exactly should we do. So let's write the following. Now I want you to go through each of these steps and write me a detailed action plan on how to do it. However, I really want to understand what's going on. So when you tell me what I need to do, also explain why I need to do it. Let's start with the first step, choose an idea for the bot. And the reason we do it this way, rather than asking for a detailed description initially, is because of its limitation in the context window. It still won't be able to describe everything in one message, so it will skip and shorten some steps to fit the limitation. But this way, we can go through each of these steps and ask it to explain everything in more detail. So, we started with the first step, which is choosing an idea for the bot. As you can see, it gave us an explanation of what we need to do, brainstorm different ideas for what your bot could do. It even provided some simple ideas, such as a weather bot, a quote bot, and a reminder bot. Then it explained why we need to do it. This is very important if we want not only to create something, but also to learn and understand each step. Next, we can see an example idea and a step-by-step -step breakdown for it. This might not be the best example of a step to show, but in the following steps you will see it better. So. I don't like any of these ideas. I want to create something better. Therefore, I wrote, I understand that it's better to start with a simple idea, but I also want it to be useful. Can you give me 10 useful ideas for creating a Telegram bot? And there you go. Now we have something more interesting. I like the second idea, especially if we can make a bot that sends news only about AI. So I wrote, I really like the second idea, news bot. But is it possible to make this bot send only news about AI and everything related to this niche? If so, I would like to go with it. And let's move on to the next step. Set up your development environment. So in this step, we need to download Python and a code editor, which I've already done, so I'll skip those steps. But there's a detailed guide on how to do it. Next, we need to set up a virtual environment, so let's do that now. All we need to do is open the terminal, navigate to the directory where we want to create our project, and run the following commands. It even left us some comments to easily understand what to do. But let's say I don't understand what to do and where to put the code. With ChatGPT, that's not a problem because I can simply ask it to explain in more detail. Now we have a super detailed guide on how to set up a virtual environment. So let's do that right now. As you can see, I've opened the terminal on the left and ChatGPT on the right, making it easy to follow along. The first step is to open the terminal, which I've done, but there's also a guide on how to do it. Next, navigate to your project directory. Use the cd command to change to the directory where you want to create your project. If you haven't created a directory for your project yet, you can create one with the emkdir command. So let's do that by simply copying and pasting it into our terminal. Then we need to create a virtual environment. Essentially, we need to run the following command, but replace my environment with our desired name. I'll leave it as it is. After that, we need to activate the virtual environment. Since I didn't change its name, I can simply copy and paste this command for Mac OS. Finally, install the Python Telegram bot and requests libraries. Below, we have explanations of why each step is important and even an example commands recap. Once it's done, it's time to move on to the next step, which is creating a Telegram bot account. First of all, open Telegram and search for Botfather, then simply click Start. Next, create a new bot by typing forward slash new bot. Give it a name, I'll use AI News Bot. Then, provide a username that must end with bot. The username may already be taken, so you might have to play around with it. I'll use I Research AI News Bot. Finally, Botfather will provide an API token, which we'll need later. Once we have done this, we can move on to the next step, which is writing the bot script. The first step is to create a new Python script. We need to open our code editor and create a new file named bot.py. So let's do this. I've already opened the code editor, and we will create a new file. We'll name it bot.py and save it in the folder we created earlier. Next, all the other steps involve copying code and pasting it into our code editor one by one. So it seems like I've already copied everything, but you can see API token, and it says your API token here. We previously generated this API token inside Telegram, 
So all we need to do is go back to Telegram and copy our token. Then we return to the code editor and simply paste our API token here. The last change we need to make is the API key. I wasn't sure where to get this API key, so I simply asked ChatGPT, and it seems like we can get it from the News API website. You need to create your account there, and when I did that, it gave me a key that I can just copy and paste into our code. This API key is needed for our bot to monitor the latest news related to AI. So, when everything is done, we need to run this command, pythonbot.py, to make sure everything is working. And there you go, we got our first error. Actually, there are two errors in this code, so I will show the solution for both right away. But to solve any error that arises, we can simply copy the error message and paste it into ChatGPT, and it will tell us what we need to do to fix it. So you can see that it found two of them and wrote the complete code without any errors, so I can just copy and paste it into the code editor. With the new code added, we can save it, and let's try testing it again. To do this, we write cd and the name of the folder we created earlier. Then we activate our virtual environment, as we did before, and then we write python3bot.py. So, it seems like we don't have any more errors and our bot should be working. Let's go back to Telegram and in the chat with Botfather, you should see a link to our bot. Once we click on it, we can press start to begin interacting with our bot. As you can see, it responds with a welcome message. Hi, I am your AI news bot. Use the command forward slash news to get the latest AI news. And if we click on it, the bot will provide us with several of the most recent news about AI so we can say that it's working. We can also customize our bot by going to Botfather. Here, you can see a bunch of commands that we can use to customize our bot. For example, if we click on Setup Pick, then select our bot, and then publish any image, it will change the bot's profile photo. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Peace.